Hello everyone. In this video series, like in this playlist, we'll be discussing about Azure related uh, services. So this particular playlist is dedicated for Azure AI Vision. So we will be discussing about what is Azure AI Vision, when to use it, how to use it. We'll be discussing about various uh, uh, options available under Azure AI services as well. So let us start. I'll give you a brief introduction to Azure AI uh, services. Okay, so AI vision, also known as a computer vision, is a field of artificial intelligence that enables machines to interpret and make decisions based on visual data from the world. This involves processing images and videos to identify objects, understand the scenes, and derive actionable insights, similar to how humans use their eyesight. While human vision relies on biological eyes and brains, AI vision uses camera and algorithm to process and understand visual inputs. The key to AI vision lies in its ability to analyze and interpret images in a way that mimics human visual perception, but often with more precision and at a larger scale. So the key techniques in AI vision are image classification, object detection, image segmentation, face, face recognition, and optical character recognition. We will be deep diving into all these things, all these options, features in our upcoming videos. So I'll give you an example of AI vision. Consider a self-driving car. It uses multiple AI vision techniques to navigate safely. Before we proceed to understand each and every aspect of that, just I'll, I wanted to tell you one thing. So this is my uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go and subscribe now because I'll be adding all the useful playlist here. You can find the playlist here. Okay, all the technologies. And if you want to join as a community member, like a um, YouTube uh, community, like you can join as a member where you'll be getting access to the exclusive perks. And next to tell is what if you have any queries related to your certification readiness, if you have any queries related to your interview preparation, if you want me to conduct a mock interview for you, like uh, if you wanted to want me to review your resumes or career guidance or anything, you know, like you can just schedule a call with me. The link is in the description. And this is my blog. So I'll be updating my blog at least twice or thrice every um, week. So you can follow my blog to stay tuned. I'll be updating all the informations in my blog. So please keep watching. Let us continue. So here, um, as I told, I consider a self-driving car, which uses multiple AI vision techniques to navigate safely. The first one is object detection, which helps the car recognize other vehicles, pedestrian traffic signs and obstacles on the road uh, image classification which is used to identify different types of ve vehicle or road condition image segmentation allows the car to distinguish between the road sidewalks and other areas face recognition which can be employed to identify the driver or the passenger for personalized experience so this is how car ai vision can be used in our daily life so the usage of Azure AI vision are a broad spectrum. I'll be just telling you a few things like healthcare. AI vision can assist in diagnosing diseases by analyzing medical images such as X-rays, MRIs, and CT scans. For example, it can detect tumors or futures with high accuracy. Azure AI vision can help in retail industry uh, for inventory management where cameras and vision algorithms track product stock levels in real time. It also enables automated checkouts systems with that recognize items and their prices. It also helps in manufacturing industry. So AI vision system inspects products for defects, ensuring quality control on production lines. They can identify faulty products and sort them out automatically. And it also uses for the security, like surveillance system, use AI vision for monitoring and identifying unusual activities or unauthorized access in a real time enhancing security measures. It also used in agriculture. Farmers use AI vision to monitor crop health, 
detect pests and assess soil conditions through aerial images uh, from drones so there are lot and lot more um, uh, add-ons for ai vision so now let us go and see like how to create a resource in a visual uh, portal okay like azure portal so for that first you have to log into portal.azure.com so the portal.azure.com is giving us a, a $200 free credit to work on it okay so you can just access that so once if you logged in to portal.azure.com you can find this one like a create a resource okay so you can just click on this create a resource and if you wanted to know like how to get the portal.azure.com uh, free credits you can just comment it i will create a video for you and upload it so here you can find lot and lot of um, azure resources which are already available so here we we require azure ai vision image analysis capabilities right so what we have to go and search for it was azure ai services so just type azure ai services and press enter so it will show you a lot of azure ai services for us okay so here you can find azure ai services plan okay the very first one which is azure ai services you can find it here what you have to do is what simply just click create and click create azure ai services it will take you to the uh, creating the azure ai services plan for you this is the resource okay so you can just start creating the group you can select if you have any existing resource group you can select that or else if you want to create a new group you can also create it okay so as of now i'm just i am just going to show you the azure resource group so what is the resource group resource group is used to hold all the resources in a single place okay so if you are you if you are, do, if you are doing a um uh, project that is that uh, you have to just consolidate and keep every resources or services under one single resource then we will be creating a resource group so simply i am just going to create a new uh, resource group here i am just going to name it as azure vision rg okay and if i click okay you know you can just create a resource group here it's a new resource group which will be created okay azure vision rg rf okay so fine so azure vision rf so just if you uh, scroll down you can see the region you can even change if you feel like no i don't want this you can make it as rg okay so if you uh, like usually i used to give east us because that often all the changes and previews everything will be directly uh, available in the us region so i am just directly going to give the instance name you have to give the instance name as, as well um vision azure vision demo i'm just giving azure vision demo if it is available it will show you the tick symbol or if it is not available then it will show you the wrong symbol okay like azure vision try i'm just giving azure vision try so if it is available it will show you you can see the uh, tick symbol near this which means that this part is available okay azure vision try and you have to specify the pricing tier so there is no free tier for that it's a standard tier okay so you can view the full pricing details here if you wanted to see more about it and know more about it just click on the full pricing details and finally you have to check this box okay this is very very important and these are all the responsible ai notice so if you uh, if you know the response like the uh, ai responsibility details then you can just click here and see like what are the documentations how it works and everything so this is the ai notice which you have to check this and once you have done you can have to click here review and create or else just click next where it will take you to the network configurations which are just to understand you can just uh, understand what it is and finally you can wait for review plus create okay once everything it will validate all the resource name and resource group and once it feels like okay you have all uh, you have created it okay then you can just click here create
so once if you have clicked create you can see that the initial deployment so it has initiated the deployment what it will it will take si some uh, time to initial initiate the deployment submit the deployment and it will take some time to create your resource okay once it is created you can find so you can see that microsoft cognitive services it's showing opening something for you so your deployment is completed you can see that this is your deployment is completed status and once it is come uh, done you can just click on this go to resources okay so just click on this go to resources so here you can see this is ai vision try so this is what the ai vision try which we have given which is uh, uh, the resource name okay azure ai services so once if you scroll down under azure ai services we have lot and lot of uh, 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 lot and lot of sub services which are available okay so these are the various uh, services that is uh, services which are available under azure service ai service that is decision language speech vision document intelligence and metric advisor so we are as of now we are just focusing on the vision okay so simply you can just click on this vision so once if you click on this vision you can see what are the things which you have computer vision custom vision face or everything you can find all these things here okay this is the vision services which you have so if you want to just click on this you can just launch the azure vision services from here or else you can directly go and search for computer vision Okay, so computer vision is the services which is offered under the Azure AI Vision services. So you can see here Vision Try demo, which is already there inside your computer vision. Okay, so here you can click on this Go to Vision Studio, which will take you to the Vision Studio. Okay, it will launch the Vision Studio for you. But as I told, it is like you are just think yourself. You are seeing something. Your eye is your camera. Okay, so you are seeing something, and that is you are capturing something. And how you will be processing? You'll be processing it through your brain. So the brain is what the algorithm we are using it. So this is what here with the camera and the algorithms. Okay, like what you can do with the camera, you can take a image or you can capture the video. So here they are taking the image. Uh, so these are the possibilities which you have: optical character recognition, spatial analysis, face image analysis. So the next video will be discussing about what are these services, what are the, these features specifically in uh, uh, computer vision, and how you can do it, how you can uh, better utilize it. What are the uh, use case for each and every feature available here? Like for example, if you take optical character recognition. in every field how we can use it in a better way okay so that is how we are going to discuss and this if the spatial analysis then you can see like how we can do that okay and if you take a face if you take image analysis so how we are going to use all these things how we are going to use the pre built and how we are going to use the um custom like you can create your own thing right uh, so everything we will be discussing about it okay so um stay tuned in the next video we will be discussing more about like how to create it um what are the various uh, uh, services which uh, we can use it for the azure and everything so before that just go and check for the uh, azure okay like uh, try to create your uh, uh, azure demo and uh, you can find all these options available here So thank you for watching and um, if you have any queries please ask me I'll be happy to help you Take care bye bye